Hi everyone, this is Joel, the Minecraft teacher, and I'd like to introduce you to a world uh, called Foodcraft that my company, Teacher Gaming, has been working on in conjunction with the American Museum of Natural History here in New York City. Uh, this is a very cool world. It was designed to be played by youth at the museum as part of a day-long workshop where they would be both playing Minecraft and seeing sp uh, specific exhibits at the museum and uh, learning both in the game and in the real world. So let me tell you a little bit about what it's about. Um, in the beginning of the event, the children are taught how to play the game, and they're taught how to do farming in Minecraft, and they're asked to raise some simple crops, and this is kind of a part of a get-to-know-you event, and uh, uh, learn the basics of the game, and sort of learn what uh, our expe expectations for them would be during the day. Uh, they stayed in these little houses, uh, and they actually had to score points by raising their crops, uh, preparing the food, and then bringing them to market. We created this market for them. They could sell some of these food items in the market. They would score points by placing the food into these chests here. And they could actually trade. They could get other farming equipment and uh, other useful items in these other stalls, which would have uh, uses in other parts of, of the of the world, of the activity here. Uh, we gave them sort of some communal spaces, a maker space, a youth hostel. They could stay here if they wanted. Uh, they could create their items that they would need. Uh, here's a map of the whole world we created. Um, and they spent about an hour in this first part uh, doing this first exercise and then they actually left the Minecraft and they went to a real exhibit at the museum called Our Global Kitchen which is all about how food is prepared and uh, and, and traded and cultivated both uh, in the modern day and uh, throughout history. So after that, well they had lunch in the real world uh, and then they came back to Minecraft and they actually spent about 90 minutes in an expanded version of this map where they were actually able to go to a new area. Let me uh let me uh, make it daytime so you can actually see. Uh, they're told that their little farm was so successful that their community was actually able to expand and make a much larger farming operation over here. So they were able to produce far more crops. However, um, as they were now joining a global market and a more modern society, the the demands on uh, their food production were also greatly increased. Instead of, for example, just having to score 100 points by producing food products, they had to score 1,000 points by uh, creating many more food products. Now, and it wasn't just enough for them to carry the food over to the marketplace, they actually we introduced a trade system. So we built them uh, these... these uh, this uh, Well, let me just show you. So it was a, a, a minecart system. So they'd come over here, I'm going at super speed, but uh, the kids had to uh, do everything sort of by hand. Uh, they'd come over here, they'd farm their crops. They would have to uh, do things uh, like prepare them, turn them into bread, turn them into cookies, turn them into cakes, uh, and then load them up on this cart system and send them on their way. And this would actually transport the food all the way out of their city, out of their civilization, across the landscape to a seaport, which I'll show you in a moment. And of course, we, we tried to pepper in some other backstory about the world they were living in. For example, they were living near a large strip mining operation. You're going to see some factories in a moment. There we go. Let the world load. Uh, and they had to ship their their food products over here and get them onto the sea on, into the seaport and onto these uh, onto this cargo ship and so for example here are some of the items that they were able to create they put them in there uh, but then the interesting thing was uh, they would also receive imports uh, from the seaport. They would take food items that they would receive as shipments off of the ship uh, from this chest. And this would allow them to make new food products that they wouldn't otherwise be able to make. For example, we did not give them sugar, milk, or eggs in, uh, in the, the first part of the map. So they had to actually trade for these ingredients, which let them make things like cakes and pies, which were worth more points. So it was a really fascinating event. It was a great blending 
of learning in a digital space and learning uh, in a physical space. It was fantastic to work with the American Museum of Natural History. Uh, you know, I, I was a kid. I grew up in New York City. I loved going to the museum, and it was really, really rewarding to do a project like this uh, with the folks there. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing uh, more events like this in the future. So thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you have any questions about how this all works. Thanks.